So you just finished that fire anime. Maybe a good fight scene. Or maybe it was an arc of an anime and you need somebody to discuss it with. None of your friends are watching it. They're not talking about it. You haven't even met anybody online or in any forums. Welcome to Tragic's YouTube channel where we discuss animes. So welcome to the channel. I'm Tragic at That's Tragic and I'm going to be your anime discussioner and reviewer. Our first anime series that we're going to tackle is Black Clover and I'm really excited. It's done by a well-known studio called Studio Perrier, Perio, Periot, however you pronounce it, we'll figure it out. And their list is extensive, guys. Bleach, Yu Yu Hakusho, Naruto, just to name a few. We've seen them go full 10. We have seen them go Kaioken. We have seen them go Super Saiyan. We know what they're capable of. And let's just hope that we get that out of Black Clover. So the goal of the series is to tackle the anime arc by arc, discuss the good fights, character development, the plot, the antagonist, the protagonist, smooth choreographed transitions and music, anything and everything that we find interesting, stuff that we hate, stuff that we love, get it all out there for everybody to talk about, discuss it, and review it. So if that interests you, let's dive into the first arc, the Magical Knights Entrance Exam Arc, episodes 1 through 13. <laughs> All right, so the Magic Knights Entrance Exam, episodes 1 through 13. So everything that I had heard before coming into this anime was that the first 120 episodes are kind of boring. 20 episodes. I definitely meant the first 20. 120 episodes are kind of boring. Asa is super annoying and yells all the time. But right away, I noticed that I didn't share that same opinion with other people. I think Asa is hilarious. Like, <laughs> that dog... Bro, when we seen him in the first episode, like, doing this in the crib next to you know, like... This dude is a clown, and we know he is going to be foolish throughout the rest of the anime. So the dude is just funny. I don't know why I'm trying to read this. Like, I have my glasses off for you guys because there's a big light and it glares. I can't see it all. Let's continue. So we see Yuno and Asta in the beginning, and they're going to be the two main characters. One super serious, and then Asta, like, just, that's, that's all I got to say. Like that scene when the father of the priest, whatever, came back and he was like, yo, I need someone to run an errand for me. And I was like, hi, 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 me, like begging. And he's like, oh, you know. Like, that, that shit had me weak. It's just funny. But then I started to realize that um, his family can treat him bad in certain ways, whether his adopted family, whatever. But as the show started to progress and we seen with Nate or Nash, Ash, whatever his name was, um, it was, I got more of the sense of that, like, we can make fun of him. He's our family member. But if someone else tries to do that, we are not tolerating it. And then you start to see that, you know, trust him and that his other family members do. And really what is going on is they're hard on him because they don't want to lose him. In a sense, that's kind of what I got, and I can understand that. So we learn more about Yuno, we learn more about Asta, and they set off onto the quest to head to the city, the capital, for the Magic Knight entrance exam. And we don't know much about the Magic Knights, we don't know much about the city, we just know they're from a rural town and village, and they're off on this great adventure. I like the narration as it comes in, it gives me like mad Hunter x Hunter vibes, like off on an adventure. Narrating draws in more serious overties to the story and just makes it feel more of a serious atmosphere while also being funny at the same time. So Asta and Yuno make it to the city and we start to get introduced to our big cast of characters, our first organization in the anime, which is the Black Knights. We also start to see some of the prejudice and views that nobles have on their nobility and people that are like peasants or serfs. And we start to see how privileged they are and how much more they have. And they live in a city. And we even learned that there is like a city where if you're not nobility, you kind of get banished there and you have to live there as a poor person. So we start to see those the different setup in society and classes that they're that are there. And so these are all the Magic Knights squads that are there with their leaders and their captains. So I like this a lot. This is showing a huge cast of characters that can be very interesting in upcoming battles and possible um, corruption even against these groups. And what will be interesting to see is what group is going to oppose these Magic Knights. And so Yuno, being the talented one that he is, he gets drafted by all the captains of every single squad. And he chooses to go to Golden Dawn, which will be the closest to him getting back to becoming the Wizard King. And right away we see that he's going to be judged. And he's not going to be accepted, and he's really going to have to prove his worth, 
Like, that's going to happen with Asta as well. But this is even more the case because we do not know Yuno's uh, parents. We don't know his line of lineage, which I'm thinking in the future he, he's probably going to have, like, some crazy strong bloodline. He's just too gifted and too talented. If you've watched anime enough, we, we know. We know that that's going to happen. I mean, I'm calling it now. And then, so we see Asta join the Black Bulls. I really like this squad a lot. It's a squad full of misfits. And we see that Yami is the captain who is crazy, always destroying the hut while everyone else is going ballistic in there. And I really like Magna and Asta's connection of them running around, discovering things, being a real man. It is just cool. The only person I really don't like is this gosh dude, gosh, whatever. His obsession with his sister is extremely weird. And Luck is awesome. Little psychopath, always trying to fight, always trying to battle. He kind of reminds me of that prince from uh, Reborn, T Tokyo Hitman Reborn, uh, who's always laughing and trying to fight people with knives. Interesting comparison. So as far as animation goes, we haven't seen too much. We've seen about three fights so far. The one in the first episode, some of the Magic Knight's entrance, and also the one where they go to the town to save the people that have been taken over by the Mist and the Ice user. The animation seems kind of fluid. The colors are all right. But we know studi the studio has mad potential. Naruto has great hand-to-hand. -hand, so it's going to be interesting to see how they tie in magic and hand-to-hand -hand combat, which we know they can do pretty well. Man, so this part right here... This was my favorite part of the season, or the first arc. Asta let us know right away that when it's time to be serious, he's going to be serious. And he gave me mad Luffy vibes, fooling around, playing. But when it's time to go down and somebody's dying or it's time to protect someone, we know he's going to stand up and do what's right. <laughs> Woo! my man is i felt it man i got the goosebumps did y'all let me know what y'all thought for real and so that's kind of going to wrap up the review of the first arc for me we've seen the gym that they were after so we know that they're trying to resurrect some old master we really haven't got a main antagonist yet we haven't had too much corruption at all that we've seen in the magic knights yet i assume that yuno is going to be of royal bloodline or have something crazy going on we see that Asta has a demon, but as far as that goes, I haven't tried to guess any more real twists. I, I'm i going to call it now that they're probably going to resurrect that old master, and he's going to be the main antagonist of the show. So we've had character death in the first arc, which means I think that there could be some character deaths later on, super power-ups. Overall, I give this show a huge space to do something right. They've laid the foundation for a good show, and who knows what we'll see in the future. So please don't spoil in the comments or say anything. This is a first watch through. And if you're watching with me, let me know what you guys thought and what you think is going to happen. As far as the first arc, I'm going to give it a solid like 6 out of 10. Just because I think that they can go above and beyond in the arcs to come. Alright, so remember, I'm Tragic and that's the review of the first arc. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. How we can make it better. What you would have talked about personally. Or just any interesting debates that you want to do down below. I also stream live Monday through Thursday on Twitch. Uh, if you like gaming as well, check my channel out. And um, if you could, please just give a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps us out so much. And I'm listening to you guys' um, reviews, your replies, and what we can do to make the channel better. So feel free to hit me up, talk to me. We also have a Discord. I'm going to post links to socials and everything down below. And thanks, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is madness!